Deep within the wilderness, lies a specific tile. A tile in which hundreds, maybe even, billions, of bots are locked to. On nearly every single given world. At almost any given time. That's right boys, these low-level bots are locked to this tile harder than settled is locked in Lumbridge. And after seeing how many bots were out here at the Lava Dragons in Sir Pugger's latest video, I realized that I needed to get out here and tax them as quickly as possible. And believe me when I tell you, that the gains I was making off of these tile locked goblins, was massive. And with the recently implemented loot key system, harvesting these bots has never been more profitable. And my 16 attack dragon warhammer pure has never been more useful. Believe me boys, these tile locked bots were getting clapped quicker than the British when all of those American colonists were throwing the tea into the ocean. But instead of throwing tea into the water, we were throwing these keys inside of our bank, at rapid speeds. And yes boys if you can't already tell by the high definition graphics, or the 4K video quality. I finally received my brand new PC. And believe me boys, it's the best thing to ever happen to me in my entire life. And I've lived over 3000 years. I literally am the meme of the guy who spends $3,000, just to play old school RuneScape. And honestly boys, I couldn't be more proud. Just look at the beauty of that side shot. I never knew how beautiful this game truly could be. And the only reason I hated on the high definition graphics in the past, was because my old laptop couldn't handle running them. But now I could run anything boys, maybe even a mile. But if there is one thing I knew for sure that I was running, was the amount of money I had in my bank. That's right boys look at all the loot from those keys. Nearly 300k coins? And it took us Bye. about 10 minutes to clap out all of those clowns? Not to shabby boys. Not to shabby. But when I went back up to clap out some more tile locked robots, I was ambushed by this gang of clowns. Looks like I wasn't the only one who had the same idea. I tried as hard as I could to defend myself against these rats. But their slaps were too much for this account too much. Oh you rats think you're good? Yeah I bet you do. Hopefully you hillbillies stay around for a wee bit longer. Because I might just have a little trick up my sleeve. That's right boys. These cowboys may have sent my pew to the gates of Lumbridge. But my secondary account is about to send these goblins straight to the gates of hell. Why hello there Johnny boy. Let's see how strong you are now that you are fighting someone a little bit more your size. Even though my fingers felt like broken crayons, I was able to hybrid this hillbilly faster than the rate of inflation. Pay close attention to how smooth and quick my switches and clicks are against this ghoul. Hopefully it will help you understand why they call me the best of the best. Even though I have never claimed that title myself. Jeez Lawis boys. Little Johnny really thought he was quick with the claps. But he made a huge mistake by only bringing a dragon dagger as his only melee weapon. Good riddance little Johnny. Maybe next time you will use your brain before you wander this deep into the wilderness. But just when I thought little Johnny was the biggest donkey I had seen all day, I was rushed by this massive rat, who got clapped in just two hits with the help of one of the lava dragons. Ha 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 wow. Jeez Lawis boys, can you imagine getting clapped that hard? Let alone that quick? Billy boy I highly suggest you stay far far away from the wilderness so you can avoid the embarrassment you just faced today. Wow. Oh and would you look at that loot boys? Looks like a bunch of crap. Throw it in the bank boys throw it in the bank. With the current rates of inflation these loot keys are basically worthless. Four years ago this would have been considered an ice PK. But now it's basically the equivalence of picking an inventory of flax. Sorry bud. But clapping these bots on the other hand was honestly a pretty good source of income. 
I realized I didn't need to bring any risk when clapping these tile locked bots. Because the second you attack them, they completely freeze in fear, and will allow you to clap them straight back to Lumbridge without moving a muscle. I'm not usually the one to make assumptions. But I'm assuming this is probably because whoever wrote the scripts for these bots, most likely wrote it on a Windows 98 computer. Farewell you goofy peasants and may you get slapped every time you return to the wilderness. What's sad though boys is that no matter how many of these bots we slap out here at the Lava Dragons, the writers of these scripts will still profit thousands. Maybe even, millions of dollars. But honestly, it doesn't even make me sad. It makes me glad, because it's obvious that the current owners of Jagex could give two shits about our opinions, let alone the community of this game. But you know who cares boys? No one. So you just have to accept the fact that the fun days of PvP are dead and gone. And if you truly want to excel at this game, then you need to pick up your pickaxes and start mining those rocks. Just kidding boys, I'm just joking. In fact, ever since they implemented the new PJ timer, the wilderness has became way more popular. I've honestly been having a blast the past couple weeks. Now boys take a look at this. While I was on my way to go cash in my loot keys, I was attacked by this snakeskin bandana biker boy, who thought he was going to clap me out for my precious keys. But instead of running down to 30 wilderness and tellying away, I decided to do something even better. Which was luring him back out to the lava dragons, that way I could log into my main account, and deliver him the proper slaps he deserved. And just like a snakeskin bandana rat would, he fell for the bait. And before you knew it, I was closing in on this massive, massive goblin. But before I could even hand him the proper slaps, one of my goons was already clapping his cheeks. Sit rat boy Tim Allen. Sit down you British rat. And may you never try to snake my pure for his keys ever again. Ha ha wow. Salty little goblin got clapped and chopped. And I was proud. Proud of my loyal goons. I love you boys, and I'm proud of how strong you all have become. The best part about this new computer is that I now have the ability to record clips at the same time that I stream. So as I was fighting off these lava dragon lizards, some of my goons came to tag along. And believe me boys, when I am grouped up with my squad, there isn't a soul in RuneScape that can stop us. And that's just a solid fact. Honestly I'm not quite sure what this goblin boy thought he was going to do by bringing a cannon to the lava dragons, but I would assume that he's probably realizing that it was a horrible, horrible idea. As my young goon and I pounced on this leather chap rat, it was obvious that he was in a complete panic. And every time he tried to make an escape, I would freeze him inside a massive block of ice for 30 seconds at a time. And just when this goblin boy thought it couldn't get any worse, along came another one of my goons, who delivered the final blow to this rat's face by crushing it with his granite maul. Then, out of nowhere, another enemy approached. Except this clown actually had the audacity to yes. bring those bitch-ass salad robes into the wilderness. Seriously bud? You think you're going to go to war with those salad robes? Who the hell do you think you are? Within seconds my goons started busting shots at this lizard. And before he could even react, he was on his way back to the land of bitches, clowns, and cucks. That's right boys. But just when you thought the invasion was over, out came another pirate from the hills. Clap this rat quick boys clap this rat quick. We cannot let these pirates snatch our loot. Not only were my goons giving this rat the claps, but so was the lava dragon. Clap him up boys clap him up. Make sure he learns his lesson. This is what you get for trying to stream sniper legend little Johnny, you get clapped. That's right boys, I'm a living legend. Even though I have never claimed that title myself. Hanf Kung desperately tried to make an escape, but he failed miserably as he was hilariously clapped back to the city of pirates. All he could do was laugh in disbelief. Listen here you bucktooth pirates. I know you think you are good. But you actually need to get good. You got that bud? You're not good. So get good. Okay bud? Good. Wow. And if those clowns weren't pathetic enough, 
On our way to the bank we encountered yet again another salad robe chat. And just like you would expect, we clapped him with ease. I swear boys these rats just keep getting stupider. Honestly with the wilderness being both so dead and riddled with goblins. It's brought out some of the biggest noobs I have seen in quite some time. And it makes me proud boys. I love clapping these noobs. I love it. But not as much as I love this song by Dream Troll. This band is literally the most undiscovered gem I have ever found in my entire life. And they aren't even together anymore. But I swear boys, this band has the best war music of all time, so make sure you go check them out, and tell them that you want the original members to get back together. A flame that burns so bright To light in the darkest night sky Together we'll defeat them all Tears of a thousand men Marching to hell back again One battle the greatest of all
Hello. No. Please. Did you see that boys? This little Johnny boy thought it was a good idea to beg for his life as he tried to make an escape. But we all know that begging on old school runescape is a crime that is punishable by death. Run little Johnny, run. If only your short little legs were able to run faster you may actually have a chance of surviving my massive slaps. But unfortunately, you didn't. Sit down Mohawkrat, and may you never return to the wilderness ever again. Boys I hope you all enjoyed watching today's video, and I hope you enjoyed the upgraded quality. And a friendly reminder that everything on this channel is just jokes boys. I truly love all you runescape nerds, and I am proud to say that this shitty game, is the best game of all time. Make sure you boys leave a like and click subscribe down below, and stay tuned for more savage slaps. Oh and by the way, don't forget, that your girlfriend on runescape? is a 46 year old man named Keith. God bless my brothers and sisters, God bless. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you some breaking news. As most of you know, Old School RuneScape recently upped the price of their membership fees, from $11, to $12.49. And it has the community in an uproar. But if you change your computer's IP address to Mexico using ExpressVPN, you can still buy membership at a discounted price. Not only can ExpressVPN help you get deals all over the internet, but it also provides you with protection by securing your network through an encrypted tunnel system that can block out hackers, big tech, and even the feds from accessing your online information. And this is still just a fraction of what ExpressVPN has to offer. If you would like to learn more about ExpressVPN, then visit expressvpn.com slash buttholes, and find out how you can earn 3 months of ExpressVPN for free.